The first one for us. We'll need to sit down. It's a very simple exercise in which we'll sit on the edge of the chair, place our hands on our knees, and from this position, we'll raise our heels, lift the heels, and then drop the feet forcefully, trying to press our toes against the floor. This will allow us to work the anterior tibialis, which is this little muscle here that enables dorsal flexion. And then quickly it will allow us to work plantar flexion by applying force on the ground, which is what we do when we walk. So, we'll do this for 25 repetitions. In this way, very simple, calmly, always remember, pull your stomach in and breathe. Inhale, and when you start the exercise, Exhale, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. You'll notice that once we've finished the exercise, we'll feel muscle tension in the anterior tibialis. Don't worry, it's normal, okay, we're working, and that means we're alive. So, without further ado, let's move on to the second exercise, very simple and easy. And it's the reverse of this one. If in the first exercise we did this movement, now we're going to do the opposite. We'll start by applying force from the toes, doing toe heel. This will allow us to focus more on plantar flexion, which is crucial for walking. And all these exercises will strengthen the intrinsic foot muscles so that we can avoid falls and, above all, have good control of our feet. We'll start here and we'll also do about 25 repetitions. We finish this one and move on to the next after resting for a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Very good. Why did I change positions? Because if you notice, look at how the lateral leg muscles activate. And it's that these exercises, if done with intensity and consistency, will give us quite a bit of strength. So, once we've finished this exercise, we'll move on to a third one. A very simple one that will also bring great benefits. In these types of exercises, if you notice, I'm not focusing so much on sets and repetitions, but rather on just wanting a foot exercise routine something that can take us between 15 and 20 minutes, that is simple and that we can combine with our sport, or if we have a pathology or lack of stability, do it daily at any time of the day. Very good. For this, the next exercise will be an inversion and diversion exercise. So I'm going to move my right foot to one side and the left foot will follow. One will perform inversion, and the other will perform aversion. Okay, we'll do this about 20 times. Okay, one, two. Remember, it's not one and two. No, the complete movement is one repetition. Keep this in mind, because we often make mistakes doing fewer repetitions than we actually need to do. So, I repeat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Very good. 20 repetitions in which we're working on inversion and diversion of the foot. We're working on the anterior tibialis, posterior tibialis, paradials. Okay, very stabilizing foot muscles that will benefit us greatly. So, once we've finished this exercise, it's true that we're going to need a band. A band or an elastic like this to work with. Well, also a bit of what is an implement like a band and the external force of a band. Okay, so from here, very simple. I put my feet together. I'm going to try to make a knot with my feet as close together as possible. That way I already have tension. The rope, often when we do the exercises, it stays in front and it's really bothersome and this way it can limit us from doing the exercise. So without any problem, the simplest thing for me is to place it behind, place it behind, so there's no failure, and from here, okay, from here, what I'm going to do is an external rotation of my tibia or my foot, okay, and we're going to do it for 13 repetitions, okay, if we see that it's slipping a bit, we put it a bit further ahead. The important thing is feet together. I apply tension, a bit more attention to the leg I have to work on. And from here, I imagine that my foot is a clock that wants to reach three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, together, I open a bit more tension on the left side and again with the other, okay, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, all right, a very simple and easy exercise that everyone can do. Okay, so remember, a band, the appropriate tension. Next, for the following exercise, we'll need a small towel like the one we can see here. We'll place it on the floor and try to grip the towel with our toes. Okay. We grip the towel with our toes, there, very good. What's the idea? The idea is to try to crush our toes. One, two, three, four, and relax. There, okay, one, two, three, and four, relax. I'll do this about 12 times with each foot. One, two, three, four. Very good. One, two, three, four. The idea is to squeeze the intrinsic musculature as much as we can. Okay, as strongly as possible. One, two, three, four. Relax. One, two, three, four. Relax. One, two, three, four. Relax. Very good. We'll repeat it between 12 and 14 times, with 4 seconds of isometric work, meaning sustained effort. And then we'll switch to the other foot. Okay. We would switch to the other foot. I won't do it. Okay. But keep that in mind. We're working unilaterally. The next exercise we're going to do is similar. 
except that we're going to try to spread the toes. If in the previous exercise, we tried to close them, now that we've stimulated them with isometric contractions and worked those intrinsic foot muscles with the towel, what we're going to do now is the opposite. Try to spread the toes, and we'll also do between 12 and 15 repetitions. The towel is not necessary, but just for demonstration, I try to spread the toes, too, we can do it bilaterally, or one and one. There, for example, I like one and one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15. Very good, perfect. You've seen it. We've been working on many very interesting exercises. Now let's move on to the last two. For this, we remove the towel and we will indeed need another band one of the same size we used before. Remember, we put the excess band behind, and from here, what I'm going to do is a tibial exercise. For this, what do I need to do? I have to try to raise the arch of my foot. The toes have to be on the ground and not lifted. I need good motor control for this exercise. Okay, and I'll do it 10 times. Two, we do it with both feet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, an exercise that seems very simple, okay. But it's true that sometimes, a little complicated. In this one, we have to concentrate quite a bit. Focus on trying to shift the weight to the lateral edge. Okay, on the lateral edge, so that we can activate the tibial. Okay, we see how it activates. Very good. Let's move on to the last exercise, and for this, we will indeed need a bar or a place where we can attach the band. We'll also use a small mat. So, let's head to the bar. I'll use this band. I tie a knot. Put the knot behind, I step back. Place my foot in this position. Okay, in dorsal flexion, and from here, I do a flexion extension. See how the anterior tibial activates. Okay, and from here, I'll do 15 repetitions. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Very good, 15 times. Mind you, I want the movement to be slow. Okay, slow and controlled. So, for this, apart from the 15 repetitions, what we're going to do is one, one second up, one, one second down, to two, a one to one one. Okay, I do 15 repetitions, as we see next. Okay, and once we've done this exercise, we've finished the routine. We finished the routine to prevent falls or strengthen the foot or improve your running or your sport.